Oh, exciting news. Have you heard? Broadway, Broadway series is back at the Stras and they are kicking things off with an iconic show, an iconic storyline, I should say, because it's still kind of relatively new on stage. We are talking about Tootsie and uh, joining us this morning to tell us how it's been going. Uh, we're so excited to welcome uh, one of the lead actors, Drew Becker, who plays uh, Michael Dorsey. Man, what a treat. Uh, we are so excited in the Bay Area to have uh, Broadway back. Uh, how are you doing this morning, uh, Drew? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, congratulations on this role. I was telling you before we got started, it just seems like, um, you know, this Oscar winning movie just seems like it lends itself to just the perfect kind of storyline. I know you guys adapted it a little bit, of course. Uh, yeah. But it just seems to fit so beautifully, I think, for an onstage performance like this. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I actually I saw the show when it was running on Broadway in 2019. And I just had the absolute time of my life when I was in the theater. The audience <laughs> is just so alive. It's just so full of laughs. It's just it's just absolute joy for two and a half hours. Uh, so talk about kind of, I mean, people, uh, again, just to, it's such an iconic uh, movie with um, some of the bigger, you know, biggest actors and actresses uh, of our time in it. How is it different that from the film to what people can expect uh, on stage? How did you guys kind of change it up? What do you love about it the most? Um, so one of the biggest differences is that it doesn't, Michael Dorsey doesn't book a soap opera. He books a Broadway musical when he's pretending to be Dorothy Michaels. And uh, the other biggest difference that I would say is that it takes place today in the 2020s instead of the 80s. And so with that, there has been a lot of updating with the social climate that we're in today and the consequences of his actions based off of what's going on today in society. And all those things come up. We, we had to make changes because of the Me Too movement and all that kind of stuff, you know? And so the, the our book writer, Robert Horn, and our uh, composer, David Yazbek, have really done a beautiful job of incorporating the um, times that we're in into the story. Yeah. So how much of it is a musical? I mean, how much music is there in singing? I mean, is, I mean, kind of set the stage up that way, the storyline. Yeah, so the, the storyline follows Michael Dorsey, who is a very arrogant, self-centered actor who gets told by his agent that he's never going to work again because of his attitude and because of the way that he treats his creatives and fellow actors. And so his friend Sandy is auditioning for this brand new musical continuation of Romeo and Juliet. And he looks at this as an opportunity to get a job. And so he pretends to be a woman to book the part of Juliet's nurse in this musical, ends up booking it. And then due to this decision, he ends up getting himself into a whole bunch of situations, which in and of themselves calls for a lot of laughs. <laughs> I would imagine so. We have yeah. less than a minute left, but I want to end it with um, how joyful it must be to have people back in the audience and just to be, you know, doing productions like this again. Again, this is kind of the beginning of the tour, but I know you've already had some. Uh, but what's the reaction been like? What has that feeling been like for you? So the reaction to the show has just been absolutely amazing. I mean, we have people laughing for two and a half hours straight. We have people... Yeah crying at the end. I mean, it's, it's a show that really gives you everything that you could ask for. And it's just so much fun and it's so joyous and audiences have been having the time of their lives. Oh, well, again, we are so happy that it's coming to the Stras. We've been showing the dates. Uh, there is the website to find out more about safety protocols going on right now. And of course, the number as well. Have fun. Again, we can't wait to welcome you and the, the rest of the cast here in Tampa. Thank you so much.